কদুর দর্শন কেন শলং হাকে জানমে সাশি সেন পিডিয়া সভায় ফি সেখানে প্রোগ্রাম হেলথ ইসেনশালস হই কে প্রোগ্রাম কবা নাম কলম কিন তয়ঙ্গি বারো হাকবা ই বানল শিবুন কিজিং তেপ কি বাই বাত কই কখ্যা তেমন তা জানমে বান ক্রেন হালোর কবে কারুকম সুমার হই জুলে সে ডক্টর দি তিনি জু সঙ্গি লেট কি ডক্টর আলুপাথি লেট কি ডক্টর আয়ো বাত হোমিওপাথি বাত কুমতা ক ডন রুক কে কে রুকম সুমার কাবা কি অং কথা আয়ুর্বেদা কে কিন সুমার আয়ুর্বেদা ল অং বা কালা ডন কুম্বা সান সান হাজার সিনাম মেনসুয়া বাত কে কিন সুমার কাবলা রেম ভা বাত কবলা লং হুন্দাই কুলং কুমা আলে সেন ইলা বন অং বাত কদং লং রু কিন সুমার কবাদং ইয়াদ ইয় ভা বাত কদং ইয়াদ ইয় ভা হিরু হাডু কিনে কি পর কি বমতা হন্দাই লে সে বোন নং ইং ইসু অসং সফং কথা কা আয়ুর্বেদা হন্দাই নিম দন থান কিন তেপ সফং জংকা তে হা কদং হা কে জান মেদ নি সঙ্গত নাট বঙ্গি ডন হা কা স্টুডিও কে জং ই ইয়া লাইন মোট কি ডক্টর কি বাদে না পো নে ইয়া কি বন ইয়া আই আং ই কথা কিন তেপ কত কত নে সফং কে কা আয়ুর্বেদা বাট হো ওয় মন্তা কী রুক ইন ওনরা এ কে কা প্রোগ্রাম কব অং অবেয়ারনেস অফ আয়ুর্বেদা বাট খাম তাম রুক ইন ইয় বন ক্রেন হালোর কে কা আয়ু আয়ুর্বেদা দিয়ে কবা হা ভা কা আর বুখন্দাই তারিখ উবনাই নভেম্বর তে সাশি সিন কি পিয়া সুভায় ফি বাট হা কে পো রু কে কা প্রোগ্রাম মন্তা কী ইন নে হা কাকতেন ফরেন বাত হাতেন হাতেন রুক গান সাম লামসু ফি হা কাকতেন খাশি বাতপেন সৌথু এক এই কবা কিনে কি ডক্টর কি বাতায় ইং সুফাং কে কা আয়ুর্বেদা So, Dr. We have uh, Dr. Uh, Gaurav uh, Soni, Dr. Abhishek Bhattacharji and Dr. Verity Markha. They are uh, Assistant Professor in Neya College of Ayurveda. So, welcome to the uh, program this evening. And so, as I have highlighted uh, earlier that Ayurveda is a holistic system of medicine that has originated uh, 5,000 years ago. So, we are so fortunate to have you here in the studio this evening. And Dr. Um, Soni, I will turn to you first. What is uh, Ayurveda? Can you at least a little bit give us some brief uh, about the meaning of Ayurveda? Yes, sir. Ayurveda actually is very traditional medicine, as long as you have already mentioned. Yes. And Ayurveda, if you see the two words, that is Ayu plus Veda. So basically, if you say for a common person, it can be called as the science of life. Okay. So how you are going to pertain in your life, how you can age properly mm -hmm. without any uh, disease or anything that means Ayurveda. So Ayurveda is actually a holistic system. Mm -hmm. Ayurveda doesn't only meant for the treatment purpose. Basically the first point is prevention actually. Mm -hmm. So Ayurveda gives about how to live the life. So there is some regimes are given in Ayurveda like daily regimes which call it Dincharya, then seasonal regimes, Ritu Charya. Then it also gives how to age properly, what are the proper things, what are proper sanskar or systems which you have to follow to get proper aging. Then it comes to the our next part that is treatment point of view. So treatment point of view also we have all our science which is very deep, very rooted and as you have said it is uh, old as 5000 years ago but still it is pertaining in this particular modern day also. Mm -hmm. So there are many things which we can discuss in detail like there is new term coined like wellness. So wellness is new term for world but in Ayurveda wellness was very old thing because we are always talking about holistic approach of the living. So these things plus now talking to the educational point of view or academician point of view, so Ayurveda is now a point like BAMS and PG we can do here and this is also the same just like other pathies we can follow up it up. Okay, thank you. Thank you Dr. Gaurav for, your, uh, for highlighting uh, to us about what Ayurveda is. So now uh, Dr. Abhishek, um, well wellness is a word that is um, uh, quickly pick <coughs> up, picking up you know in health awareness these days so uh, can you elaborate a little bit about this word wellness yes actually uh, if you see wellness there is a very positive concept about health mm -hmm. so if we see in medical science what we mean about health it has been said that physical uh, mental and social well-being that means normally we think what is health that uh, somebody is not having disease mm -hmm. but uh, what we actually tell about health is it's not only the absence of disease but when a person is very fine physically mentally and socially then only that person is healthy and wellness is just a positive expression of that only mm -hmm. so nowadays if you see the uh, concept of wellness centers are coming means hospitals are there that is to treat the 
ill persons mm -hmm. no so the term wellness is just opposite to that of illness mm -hmm. so hospitals are there which is mainly meant for the treatment of ill but now new concept is coming about wellness centers that is not for ill how we can prevent illness mm -hmm. how we can attain some better state of health mm -hmm. means we are healthy but we are not satisfied with the present health mm -hmm. what we want we want to be better uh, we need a we want a better state of health mm -hmm. no so see normally what happens uh, nowadays if you see the girls will be having no skin disease mm -hmm. but still they go for some treatment of their skin mm -hmm. why to get better glow of their skin so boys they are figure or body is fine but still they go for different exercises gym and gym, all yes. yes why to shape their muscles in a better way mm. so it is about why to attain a better state of health yes. so that is known as wellness mm. someday what happens see you are not getting disturbed sleep your sleep is normal mm. but when you get up you don't feel fresh yes so yes. Uh, that is not wellness mm -hmm. when you get up from sleep you are having a good sleep and you feel fresh mm. you want to you are desirous of taking food mm. you want to do your activities mm. that state is wellness actually that's yeah. a positive expression of good health mm. and that has been means given utmost importance in ayurveda about that we have to go for wellness and we have to attain a better state of health mm. so that is actually the concept of wellness which is becoming much popular nowadays mm. We say we already have great A or A plus. It's just maintaining the A plus, yes, no, yes, health yes, wise, no. Yes. So the doctor Abhishek ibata yong ba kataka kentian wellness lani kuno ban nde ban lechi doctor on da balapang lani ban lech hospital hadian bangila pang hendrei ni day ban sumar sukher ban penne ya ka jengkot jengkia ka met ka jengi kenang bangin nempang te kene ka ayurveda hi ka ka yelde na ka bentang ban penyo ya ka jengtip seki brio kuno ban sumar ban lani kuno ban penne ya kata ka kot ka kia ka met ka jengi kenang bangin yo ya ka jeng im ka ba kebalar kambat keba sei so te ho ngi nang yo shu shu panya betang ye kene ke jing ekran tingi don ru hang ni bat ngi i doctor verity markup let's see doctor be ping an ngala ban clear ka khasi nei kena makin mentoi ki parlok ki jung i ki ba pet te mentah bang i pet pet doctor ya kene ka rukam bam let's see ke ai baka ayurveda lani ka jing rukam sumar ayurveda ka hikai ya kene ka rukam bam so ayurveda being a holistic approach it doesn't treat only at physical level but also at mental social and most importantly spiritual level and diet being the most important aspect of our life it is a source of energy to every cell of our body and ayurveda present a very beautiful description about diet diet is one of the pillar of our life and ayurveda says if this pillar fails our entire life fails now there's a saying which says you are what you eat but what do we understand by this so what are the aspects around it that we should understand? There are six aspects around which Ayurveda have explained beautifully about diet. Number one, what to eat. It is very important for us to understand what to eat. Nowadays, there is this generalized concept that we follow the commercial ads, the internet sources, and we just follow them blindly without knowing their negative effect. But in Ayurveda, we have a concept of prakriti or a body type. It is an individualistic approach. Individual to individual, we differ. So that's why it is important that based on our body type, we should plan what we should eat. It is important in classic, it has been told that one will have a healthy body only if he knows to choose what he eats. Also, there has been many food items which has been restricted based on our body types we should avoid the food which doesn't suit us there is a concept of virud ahar or incompatible food when we eat we need to choose what kind of food we should combine together they have mentioned about rice honey rock salt green gram and many more on so for knowing the body type, we can consult an Ayurvedic dietitian. We can plan accordingly and choose what type of food can actually suit us based on our underlying condition as well. And the second very important part is what and when we should be eating. 
when should we eat is now a vague term which we usually find nowadays because we eat only during lunch time or meal time. We don't know our true hunger. We are just busy in this hustle bustle of life and we have forgotten the exact time to eat. In Ayurveda, it has been mentioned, once you have a clear belching, once you have the true hunger, you feel lightness in the body. The time when your previously eaten meal is digested is the perfect time when we should eat. It has been mentioned that if you eat two meals in a day, that's the best for our body. And then a very important concept of food is that we don't know how much to eat. So as already told, each body type has own digestive fire. So based on the digestive fire, we should plan accordingly and know how much quantity is favorable for our body. Also, there's a concept of what do we do before eating and after eating. So before eating, we should, be, we should maintain all the hygienic measure, washing our hands properly, taking baths. Also very importantly, offer prayer to God, to those who are giving us food. It is very important. And then post after eating food. After eating food, we should observe ourselves, how the food has been digested, how it is going to benefit us. We should walk for a step of 100 and we should sit in an asana called as Vajrasan. This is all about food. If we talk about food, there is so much to talk about it. But if we know how to manage what to eat, what not to eat, when to eat, how much to eat, as a whole, this will give us a good health. Thank you, Dr. Markham. Tee Dr. Markham ila batay ng iya ka ni karukam bam ho ni ila si ha kajing mukam jong ka tray ka kta aman la kasi ila si ng isim la kasi isim ka bam bat ng na pinlejing mukum no bat pinkre ka bam tee Dr. Markham ila batay bang idon ni la ka kamet ka jong i ka don ni la ka jong ka jong karukam bat kum no ha ka la la ka jong karukam mantriyat ka bam bat kum ta ng idon kam ban benda perkhat ka e bang i bam bat kum ta ila ong kum bat arsian si ng i ka mo doctor ka na ka bab biang e ng i ban bam Tikum ta mday bantu mo ban bam kat kabayo la ne ban de banda penkre ne don kam banda penkre ya ka bam ka bangi bam bat kidon lala ki jong ki bor ba ki jor jing bam ka bangi bam tikum ta ka ayurveda ka hikai yangi ban da pikir bha ya ka rukom bam ka jungi te khubli shi bon dr markhap ya ka jing batai ge jong phi uh, so now I will mm, turn back to you, Dr. Gaurav. So earlier we mentioned that 29th of November is being celebrated as Ayurveda Day. So can you um, uh, explain to us what is the significance of this day? Yes. Ayurveda Day is being celebrated since 2016 after our Department of Ayus got status of ministry. Okay. And this day is celebrated on the uh, Dhanvantri Jayanti, mm -hmm. which was two days before Deepavali. Mm -hmm. or Dhanteras, which is called as Dhanteras. So, date goes changing. So, this is a big uh, phenomena or festival which we are going to celebrate and each year a theme is given. Like the first one was for the diabetes, then during the COVID era it was for the COVID. Mm -hmm. So, whatever things are been done by the Ministry of IOS, all the IOS fraternity, it has been accumulated, then we have some message to give. Like we want to make this Ayurveda as a mass movement. Okay. Like this is our pathy. So, we should follow it, we should imbibe it in our life so we want to make it mass so there are three words are given mm. jan bhagedari jan uh, andolan we have to make this andolan mass movement so that we first have to hope for the ayurveda things only mm -hmm. so like this year we have a theme that what people think this is a traditional medicine so no new thing is coming up mm -hmm. and it is not having any evidence so basically this time they are giving the innovations and in global wellness as a theme mm. so this is a very big theme which we have given to us Ayurveda is becoming a mass movement in not only in India but also in whole world. You might be surprised to know that Ayurveda Day is celebrated last year in 105 countries and this year the target is 150 countries mm -hmm. where Ayurveda Day will be celebrated. So a big program is going to happen in New Delhi where our respected Prime Minister is going to come. And from 21 onwards till 29th we are having different different programs in our institute also. So this some programs will be for students, some will be for our common people, some are for the practitioners. So this year also there are many uh, objectives are there. The w some of the objectives which I can say is uh, wellness in for women, wellness for school students, wellness for workplace. Okay. These are three places and then entrepreneurship and innovation in IU system. Mm -hmm. So these are the some objectives what we want to 
tell the people that this all things are happening in our pathy. Mm -hmm. So that it's not only a traditional way. Now we are coming with the integrative manners. We are talking with all the scientific manners. We are collecting the evidences. So all these things community we are going to tell during this one week program, okay. which will be called as Ayurveda Day, which this year is falling on the 29th of the October. Mm -hmm. So while conducting this program, how do you see the response of the uh, public or the community as a whole? Yes, communities now like in our Silong itself, mm. people are very active, they are coming to us, okay. we are going to them, telling our program, like there is one campaign also is going on, I support Ayurveda campaign. Mm -hmm. So many responses we are coming from that, we are conducting camps in the villages, so they are <coughs> coming for the treatment point of view also, but they want to know about Ayurveda, mm. how Ayurveda works, what we are the facility which we can be provided to them. Okay. So people are very active. Most of the people want to know mm. what exactly we are going to give them via Ayurveda system. Mm. So this program is very nice. This whole week we are going to talk to the people, like here also we are going to for the awareness purpose basically. Yes. Mm. So we want to display our message that come to us and let us serve you for your benefit of your health, more, well, more on the wellness point of view. Mm. And we want to remove that lacuna, that it is not evidence based or there is no innovation is going it on. Mm. There is many things which are going on. You all are invited to visit our institute. Okay. You can see the things. We have all the modern facilities also nowadays. Mm. So it is traditional based. We are keeping our tradition in hand, but we are also coming up with the modern techniques and innovations and imbibing with us. So we are coming with the integrative manner. Yes, yes. So this mm. will be our prospect about the Ayurveda day mm. this year. Mm. The Dr. Gaurav Ilabata Yakanigajing uh Rakhi Yakanika Arpukunda in November Kumkataka Ayurveda Day, but ka jing tmu junki ka long one one dra shaka jing tip jing tip at ba shapang kanika sni but shapang ka drukam sumar ayurveda. Namar ba bunsin hi ho oin ni let kumangal on hashwang ilit ban shimda wai neki hospital my digi doctor ki bangila jumlian ban let Henre Kanika Rukam Sumar Ayurveda Ru Kadeka Rukam Sumar Kabai Wanra Shibun Kajira but Kam Tam Kaba Kam Kam Ban Hakataka Mangala on Hashwang by Doctor Abishik La on Hashwaka Desh Panga Wellness and Nikataka Jinkpinne Yaka Koit Kakya Kajongi. Temanta Doctor Abishik, I'll come back to you. So earlier you have highlighted about the concept of wellness. But sadly nowadays we see that people are suffering due to lifestyle, you know and lifestyle disorder so how can ayurveda come you know to intervene on this for lifestyle that. disorder yes mm. uh, actually the, the concept of ayurveda what uh, gaurav also was telling and uh, dr variti also was uh, highlighting especially if you see everywhere we are uh, concentrating on the term that preventive health Mm -hmm. So nowadays if you see those lifestyle disorders and uh, those are also known as non-communicable diseases. Yes, yes. Previous time if you see people used to die due to cholera, uh, cholera and mm -hmm. uh, malaria and all maximum. Nowadays also these are infective disorders are there which are communicable. But nowadays which kills maximum people are conditions like different heart condition, mm -hmm. hypertension, mm -hmm. diabetes, stroke cancer and all you must be always listening somebody died why he died out of can cancer mm -hmm. or somebody uh, died due to an ha a heart attack yes. like that so all these conditions are known as lifestyle disorders which actually comes to us due to our improper lifestyle mm -hmm. so lifestyle means what our improper diet mm -hmm. our improper regimen and all anyhow if you see we are not following actually what we should have followed no nowadays these diseases are becoming much more common mm -hmm. if you see we when we were following our traditional system traditional food traditional habits mm -hmm. that time we were not having that much of these diseases mm -hmm. no so nowadays say here when we are seeing how much of us, how many of us are following or here people are following the Khasi traditional diet yes. very less now we are more into the fast mm. foods mm. pizza burger noodles and yes. all no and due to that we are having diseases more mm. diseases and even our because our financial condition is improving day by day mm. so our calorie intake is increasing mm. previously say we were taking morning one meal evening one meal in between something 
we used to take. Mm. But now, very frequent food we are taking, which is much more uh, rich in calories and all. Mm. Where we are having previously, what people used to do, they used to work in fields and all. So they, those calorie intake, what they were doing, they were uh, miss that calorie use also was there. But nowadays, maximum of us we are doing some sitting job, but that intake is same or even more also yes, even and more. no mm. physical activity our we are in a very mechanical lifestyle so morning to evening we are mm. busy in especially in mental work our mm. physical work is less stress is there so our total physiology is changing yes. and due to the changing of this physiology due to the improper lifestyle we are inviting so many diseases mm. and those are all one after keep on coming like uh, diabetes it keeps on coming because mm -hmm. of our diet habit and lack of exercises mm -hmm. and due to that and due to some other cause hypertension keeps on coming due to over stress and mm -hmm. all we don't have physical activity again due to our diet and all we develop different type of mm -hmm. heart disorders then cancer and so many so many actually are there in the list and those are the main cause of our death today so yes how ayurveda helps means see once all these diseases develops it becomes very difficult to get rid of it yes. because hardly we listen if somebody developed diabetes mm. he got cured mm -hmm. no so it is always better to prevent those disease than to go for cure mm. so ayurveda here gives so many principles to follow so that we don't get ill at all we don't get these diseases. Mm. So lifestyle uh, changes are needed, like different type of diet habit we have to change, mm. different type of daily regimen we have to follow mm. what Ayurveda has says because Ayurveda though maximum of us we think that this is just a system of medicine just like contemporary system of medicine or other mm. but it's as Dr. Gaurav has referred before only it is knowledge of our life mm. it has says Ayurveda says that from getting up from bed up to going to bed what we have to follow yes. and 24 into 7 what should be our regimen mm. so that we can be healthy and happy mm. throughout the year what should be our regimen mm. means seasonal with season how should we change our lifestyle mm. diet and all it advises and if we follow all those things then we can prevent all those diseases and once if we disease we develop these diseases then how to get rid of these diseases also has been advised mm. in ayurveda so if we uh, follow these principles of ayurveda then yes we can mm. prevent those diseases and we can keep ourselves healthy yes that is very informative doctor and yes you have uh, highlighted about the wellness and then the, how ayurveda can intervene but the thing is that how can people access to the knowledge of you know how ayurveda can come to our help or to our need yes sure see uh, because now as uh, maximum of our traditional system no traditional means uh, process of life fooding and all were much more accurate for us because our ancestors were following those suddenly we changed mm. so uh, this change again we have to revert back somehow and for that our institution that NIA we are having specialized dietitian over there mm. we are having yoga expert over there mm. even we are having one NCD clinic also uh, so we are specially managing these diseases and also giving advice according accordingly what should be their diet uh, mm. according to their constitution as Dr. Verity says yes. how we should plan our diet mm. then how we can go for yoga and pranayam that is different type of breathing exercises mm. different type of physical activity depending on your physical condition okay. actually this is the beauty of Ayurveda that Ayurveda doesn't generalize that you go for half an hour exercise daily no Ayurveda doesn't say like mm. that Ayurveda gives you a condition that is personalized system means what food is good for me may not be appropriate for you okay. or what exercise is good for me may not be appropriate for you mm -hmm. so that is a personalized concept so when you come to our uh, hospital our nia yeah. uh, uh, yes this is hospital but uh, we can tell it as wellness center wellness also because center. this gives a more positive impression yes. about that yes after going there 
whenever you consult you go to reception you tell about your problem mm. they will send you refer you to the appropriate place and according your condition according to your constitution you can get the advice what type of lifestyle how you can change how you can modify and if you follow those i think you can prevent yes, those diseases very true. <laughs> The Dr. Abhishek, you know, how many women talk? More, because they get that kind of anti lifestyle disorder, and they get that kind of jingpang, that kind of me. Now, mar ba karo kom im kajongi, karo kom ba kajongi. Then, kibo yo Q B P pang sini, but teng teng ni as ngob bar hadu kibo ki yakendo yakajing yap ro. Now, mar kini kijing sitom. The doctor ila batay ba yakin yek 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 baro ngimde ban ong ban ab hadu ban dapang, but ban net yo yakajing sumar. Henry, ni don kam ban kum malo ong haswa ni don kam ban pinbed yakro kom Im gajungi kita kemud nado kebam kedi kakilan met bat kum ta ter ter kade kata kaban penlong ingi bangin don ya kajing kajing kia bat kata kadon kam ya kajing long renti hakar kum im gajungi bat kum ta kata hikan deka bainong gajungi bangin yo ya kajing kajing kia temtangan pai pat biang si doktor Verity Markham te doktor habang ipet ya kane kam kakot kakia hagi kentai mo nak kata kamu nak duduk kini ki samla kenrau nang ta kini ki belak long ki long kemi ki ya kendo let's say shibun ki mo ki jing e ha kakot kakia ke jong ki pila ban batai kampenya ingi ya kane ka ya ke jing e dai ha pedeng ka jing wan lam ya ke jing kot jing kia pedeng ki kentai bat kan ni ka rukam sumal ayurveda so as already been told and explained by my other colleagues Ayurveda as a whole, it works not just at mental level, spiritual level, but it works as a whole, physical, mental, social and spiritual level. So for women, we face a lot of hormonal changes. Unlike men, we don't have hormonal stability. In women, you will see right from pubertal age till the menopausal age, they will face a lot of variation and changes in their life. And many a time, it's a big taboo going on that people are talking about periods, talking about menopause, talking about hormonal replacement therapy and they are really confused and they are following various again viral ads or contents which are coming in the social media. But what important is that as women they should know that these physiological, physiological changes are natural process. These are not pathology, these are not diseases, mm. these are actually physiology. They just have to accept it and mm. accept the changes that are coming in their body right from pubertal age. Mm -hmm. They should prepare themselves. They know that throughout their life, they are going to have the hormonal changes. So that's why right from the pubertal age, they should make themselves ready, be it in through diet, through lifestyle, sleeping habits, exercising, mm -hmm. involving themselves in a mental state which is in a happier mood always starting from pubertal age, menarche or the onset of uh, periods. Mm. So in periods, this is again another big taboo. Talking about women wellness, so women as a whole, if we talk about it, it is a very vast topic. Women, they undergo various hormonal changes and these changes are very quite natural process that occurs. So nowadays we have this taboo that women undergoes various kind of changes and they start following many ads which are coming in social media which are usually very wrongly followed but what we should understand as women is that these all these changes which are coming in our body are actually physiological these are natural process which are to happen in our life mm -hmm. we should not treat them as diseases right from pubertal age Till the menopausal age, women will face these changes. So that's why it is very important because Ayurveda talk about a holistic approach, which means not just physical, but at spiritual level also. They should prepare themselves so that they'll be ready for all these changes. From pubertal age, when menarche start, when the periods start, they should stop eating all those food which are not suitable for them, mm -hmm. like eating too much of packed food, Mm -hmm. fermented item, hot and spicy mm -hmm. items, or nowadays we have the restaurant food as highlighted by Abhishek sir about the dairy products, pizza, burger, bakery items, all these things that we know are going to harm us. As women, we need to stay away from this. And we should choose a healthy lifestyle. The healthy lifestyle as in, we should involve ourselves in activities which will keep us active. 
which will keep us ready and healthy. Eating seasonal fruits, eating leafy vegetables, eating all those dry fruits and all those items which are actually going to help us boost our immunity because we are going to prepare ourselves for the next stage. That is during periods, we should maintain menstrual hygiene. Mm -hmm. Menstrual hygiene is again a very important topic which most of the girls and women, they don't give importance to it. There are many kind of gynecological disorders coming just because of the poor sanitation which the girls, they follow. Mm -hmm. Right from maintaining hygiene in changing their sanitary pads, tampons, every four hours they should change their pads. Then after that comes washing the local area. It is very important to maintain the hygiene there. Washing with warm water, avoiding soaps. Mm -hmm. Also, during when you, the menstrual period, it is important that the women should take rest. Mm -hmm. Rest not just at physical level, but also mental level. They should remain stress-free. Let the natural uh, process <coughs> follow on its own. Then, after menstrual cycle comes an age where they start deciding for preconception. So in preconception also, in Ayurveda, it has been told that you should have a state of a happy well-being where the, it has been mentioned as saw manasya or a state where the women are ready. They are ready for the change to come. Mm -hmm. And the, there are many regimens which have been told again for preconception. Then the antenatal checkups, mm -hmm. when region to region it varies what have been mentioned in others in the classical text might vary for us in Meghalaya. Mm. In Meghalaya we have various practice during antenatal checkup yes. along with going for checkup at home we have to make sure that as women we involve ourselves in those local herbs as khasi, we have many local herbs which we eat as leafy vegetables. Mm. We can add those. We should keep in mind that we don't eat those kind of food substances which will actually harm the fetus. Mm. So like papaya, we should stay away from these kind of fruits. Mm. Then after antenatal comes the menopausal. Now menopausal again is a big taboo. Many of the women, especially in cities, they are depending upon this HRT or mm. hormonal replacement therapy and they think that menopausal is all about heart flush, mm. it's all about having all the stress and mood swing. Mm. But what they should know is that it is a natural process. If it has started, it has to end and if it has ended it will create some physiological changes yes. again so we should make ourselves ready and keep our mind in a happy state so that even if the menopause syndrome is coming we accept it and maintain the lifestyle which will actually help us it mm -hmm. will actually promote our health more and more. So this is how as women we should take care at every stage of our life that we maintain a healthy diet, healthy lifestyle and most importantly a healthy mindset. Mm. Yes. The Kublishibun uh Doctor Verity Ho I Klabatai Katamo Ba Niki can thang yet a do kapor kapa ki kna samla kandra kis dang ban y boy benai nang ta kapoy kapor ban shonkurim nang ta kapoy kapor u haba kalakut kapoy benai but kataka biki onka menopause tilung ba ki ni ki kurdan ki baka kante uh kadon kamban ya the doctor ila ila batai kita ki ba ngidon kam ban pet ban sumar ba ban kre ya ka jingmut jipur khat ka jungi bat bangin sothu bangi hap ban ya leng ba ki ni ki ai kum ki kan thai bat ba kum no bangin na ban sumar li bat ha kapor ba i doctor ila batai mentan ko wei ka ba le singa ko ban ban hang ni omba ha kapor bas dang ban armet de ban bam ya usok kum for de doctor ya usok kum for de ban bam ka tang ngidon kam ban tip khnang ban penne ye khlung mo ha po the on the lapoy karta ban menu post and in a kut kata kapoy binar gipon ki jing kala ha ka mat jungi ki but kumta let's see bon nangi ngi let's see ngi la ban shudon ha ka jing sungu deo man siya miki niki ek ek ki ba ngi hap yak lang ba kum ki kum thay ne lang ba ka ayur veda nga ngay ba ki don kita ki jing a jing mod bat kita ki rukom pen biang ka jungi ya ka rukom im ka jungi bat ban penne ya kata ka jing long jing man ka ba kot bakya jungi kum ki kum thay Nay doctor ngi don kam ban dai kata bat kayor veda hi la sing la ban ada phi kwa ban yo ki jing te pa kham ban ya phi la ban le hang tai po ne ya bat ki ki doctor ki la ban ai shi mun ki jing te ki ban long ka jing men toi na ka ban ta jongi so uh, doctor gorov uh, so desh uh, prakriti parikshan campaign what is this campaign all about 
Yes, this is a campaign started by our uh, Minister of Ayush, mm -hmm. newly joined Minister of Ayush, and he wants that we all should know our own self. Like okay. Dr. Abhishek has already told, we want, we have a concept of personalized, we want to know ourselves. So, Prakriti actually means our own constitution. Mm -hmm. So, every person is different and that's why every person requirements are also different. So, if we are going to know ourselves, our constitution, our physician will help us out to what we should take, what we should not take. Mm -hmm. So, this is a big campaign which is going to start very soon. Progress is already there. So, what actually they are going to have, I will uh, brief about it. So, all of the health faculty of Ayurveda especially, they all are going to do something on this, whether they are students, faculty members, doctors. So, nearly 5 lakh people are going to do this campaign in mm -hmm. one phase, in one month and uh, ministry has developed one app for this. Via app we are going to do, a person can themselves also do this if they know some knowledge about it. So, there will be some very simple questions about their person's physical need, about how they sleep, what type of food they take, what type of skin they are going to have. Mm. So, this will be a pre-validated type of pro pharma will be there. A person can fill themselves also or they can take the help of IOS fraternity to help them out. And then the target is nearly to do for more than 1 crore people. So, this will be a big data. India. Yeah, this will be a very big data which is going to be generated. And on the base of this, after this, we are going to use AI for this. Mm -hmm. And then a generalized things will be coming up. So, a person, if he knows that whether there are three terms <coughs> in our pathy <coughs> like Vata Pitta Kapha, okay. So, if certain category is like Vata Pit, so what type of food you should take mm -hmm. or what type of diet, what type of need you have, whatever lifestyle you require. Mm -hmm. Like if you are having some specific type of things, so you are not going to take this. Oh, you can take this. Like this, there will be thing. What type of lifestyle you need, where you should go for uh, camping or something or mm -hmm. vacations. So, these all things will be neutralized. So, when you go to next person, ne next doctor, you will know that you are of this constitution. Then, you have to follow this. So, after this campaign, when your report will be submitted via app, then a child will be come to you that mm -hmm. you have to follow this, this, this. So, each person themselves will be knowing themselves. So, how, how do how do uh, people participate in this campaign? Uh, this campaign, when it will be launched, it mm -hmm. will be f highly advertised yes, and yes. they can directly download app on their mobile okay. and they can follow it up whatever questions are going to come like they have to give them identification features then they have to follow some questions, 5-7 five, pages will be there. One will be on diet basis, one mm -hmm. on your physical characters, one on your how sleep you are going to, make. different criteria will mm -hmm. be there. And after that you have to submit it and after that they will do something and they will send you a report. Mm -hmm. So, you can do yourself also. There will be all the uh, conditions will be there, terms will be there. Mm -hmm. So, you can follow if you want. Otherwise, we the Ayurveda fraternity will come to you. Okay and we are going to help you out for mm -hmm. this particular process. So, very big data means this program is very big. They are actually going to create a Guinness world record also for this, that single process for all 1 crore people or 2 mm -hmm. crore, whatever minimum people we are going to have. And after this, it will be a general problem. Means, if you are going to visit a Ayurveda fraternity, Ayurveda hospital, Ayurveda college, Ayurveda mm -hmm. OPD also, you have to go through this process and it will be just like in your genetic code that okay. you have to follow this genetic code and accordingly you have to stay in your life. Mm -hmm. So, that the first phase of Ayurveda is prevention. Okay. This will be more highlighted that mm -hmm. you have to, you will be knowing this is good for me, this is not good for so, Like you were asking how the people will be aware. So, like this people will get knowledge mm -hmm. and nowadays you, I think everybody knows knowledge is best thing what you can do for yourself actually. Mm -hmm. If you are aware for your body, you know what your body is type of, mm -hmm. you don't need to do this, you have to do this then automatically you are going to follow it up. Mm -hmm. So, you will know yourself. Somebody is not going to just suggest anything for you, any ad, any virals, you cannot just follow it. You have to know that I am this, I have to so do this. So, each individual is unique and yeah. so, it's been customized, personalized and customized. customized. Huh? So, so person to person it will yes. be a very unique <coughs> concept <coughs> mm -hmm. and all will be knowing it. This is the best thing is of this concept and this is very big. Yes, Soon yes. we can also have some this on this particular topic also mm. in detail actually. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, I think it's going to be very beneficial to the yes, yes. Uh, public society, as well. Yes, yes society. very beneficial to society. So, um, uh, Dr. Abhishek, what is this uh, panchan, panchakarma in Ayurveda therapy? So, can you explain, uh, explain a little bit to us and uh, its utility? Mm. Yes, surely it will be my pleasure because mm. I especially I am belonging to that particular department. Okay. That is Department of Panchikarma and that is very unique to Ayurveda, that mm -hmm. particular concept. So, uh, Madam, do you have a, a two-wheeler or four-wheeler? 
Yes, yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. Have you gone for servicing of that? Mm -hmm. What is the what may be the cost of your two wheeler? Maybe eighty thousand one lakh, mm -hmm. or if you take a four wheeler, that will be five, eight, or ten lakhs rupees. Mm -hmm. No, but uh, what is cost of yourself? Mm -hmm. Can you really imagine? Mm -hmm. It is means unimaginable. No, means uh, I am more than any cost to myself. If I am there, then only the whole world is there for me. No, yes. but I am so costly to myself. But ever you have think of servicing yourself, no, mm. no. So that is what actually Panchakarma is. That uh, Ayurveda believes that in our body there is enormous number of channels. The small small channels are there, and uh, see at your home also from your sink one pipe goes mm. out. No, so if sometime there is a blockage in that pipe, what will happen? That will be water clogging, yes. no, and there will be more problem due to mm. that. So in our body also the channels used to be there, and uh, when there is blocking in those channels, different type of pathological phenomena takes place. Mm. So what Panchakarma is aimed for, that means in different times depending on the condition, we go for servicing in our body. If I Uh, say in layman's understandable language, this is just servicing of, of our body. Mm. That how we can eliminate out the unnecessary uh, waste products or mm. products which are harmful to ourselves from our body, mm -hmm. and we can clean our body, clean those channels which play a very important part to maintain our health. Okay. So if those channels are uh, intact. If they are functioning very well, we can keep ourselves healthy. Mm. So Panchakarma is actually meant for that. This is the main purpose. Mm -hmm. So for that, in specific season, in specific time, different type of therapies have been mentioned. Okay. Okay. But if you see here, the term actually Ayurveda is the Indian traditional system of medicine mm -hmm. written thousands of years back. So maximum of terminologies, if you see, these are in Sanskrit. Yes. Yes. Even the term Panchakarma is also in Sanskrit, mm -hmm. where you will get two words actually. One mm -hmm. is Pancha, which means five. Another is Karma. Karma means any type of therapy, therapy, therapeutic okay. modality or whatever you say. So. Uh, especially five types of therapies has been given prime importance, which are capable to clean our body, mm. which can throw out the uh, toxins. Yes, it? toxins you can say in mm. normal language, language. throw uh, from mm. our body. So these are actually five in number. If you say first one, we call it as vaman. Vaman means therapeutic induced vomiting. We uh, prepared the patient mm. and then we induce vomiting mm -hmm. to the patient and we uh, eliminate out some uh, uh, waste from the body mm. then second one is known as virachan that is therapeutic induced purgation we prepare the body of the patient then again we give some medicine which will cause uh, say loose tool mm -hmm. okay so maybe uh, 15 20 times loose tool will be there then third one is known as vasti where we administer some medicine into the patient's mm -hmm. rectum mm -hmm. through the rectal root we administer some medicine then fourth one is known as nasya where we administer some medicine through the nasal root through the nose nostrils and the fifth one is known as rakta motion that is therapeutic bloodletting by different ways we take out blood by a long process from the patient's body mm. so actually this four this five process are mainly known as panchakarma but other than that also there are so many other those are known as upakarma that is other therapies are also there mm. by which we try to clean the patient's body so that the disease doesn't come as we always tell that uh, main aim of ayurveda is prevention Mm. The second aim is said to be the cure of the disease. Mm. So always we try to prevent the disease and if disease happens also by all these therapies we try to mitigate those diseases. Okay. okay. So that is actually what Panchakarma is mm. in Ayurveda and Panchakarma or this is also we tell as Shodhan Chikitsa that is purificatory treatment and that has been given prime importance in Ayurveda.
In Ayurveda therapeutics, if you see, there are two type of treatment. One is known as Shodhan, that is a purificatory measures. Mm. Another is known as Shamana, that is uh, mitigating measures. That somebody is having uh, fever, we are giving some medicine so that fever and all those type of condition comes down. Somebody is having say diarrhea, we give some medicine so that diarrhea comes down. That is known as Shamana or uh, we can tell as palliative type of treatment. Mm. Okay, so among these two, again Shodhana or uh, this Panchakarma has been given prime importance because it takes out the diseases, it uh, destroys the pathology of the diseases from the root. So okay. the chance of recurrence of the diseases will be less. Mm -hmm. So um, a person with in a healthy state can also uh, go sure, through this sure, process? Sure, sure, sure. A person... Okay. Not necessarily until he falls sick? No, no, no. no. Okay. Actually, Panchakarma is mainly uh, meant for that only. Mm -hmm. Ayurveda says in different seasons, there will be different variations in okay. your body. Mm -hmm. So, according to the season also, according to the climatic change also, we can go for purification of okay. our body. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Say Dr. Mantan Grabatai Shapankanika Pancha Karma Kaba Kadekatakurukum Sumar Ayurvedam de Ikibala Pang de Ikiba Koyba Kiaru, but Manpun Koy Yakamet Nakitaki Jabo Jaban Kibadon Hakamet Kajungi, Knang Bangin La Bandon, Yakamet Kaba Koyba Kiaho and La Banbatai Bunia Kumbai Doctor Labatai Nilingiqua and Tip Yakatakurukum Kumangal on Hashwang, La Ban, Let Jungo, Lani Ban Let, Hanyapo Nea, Banyo Ekajing Batai, Kaba Kambania. Doctor Mark Hapman Pavia Shippi, Yakanigam Yakanigajin Kong San Mok, a quite here. The Yakanila, what a key school woman takila room. Timenta Gaibaka Yurveda Kale, Ban Moman Pinshai, Shaki Kina School of Hanganika, quite Kakia Lanikata, Mungi or Motaka Wellness. So we all know that children are actually future of our country. It's like nurturing a plant right from it is budding. So it is very important for us for this budding citizen to nurture them. And Ayurveda gives a very beautiful approach towards it. Mm -hmm. As already mentioned again and again, in a very holistic way. Mm -hmm. It is not just about regimens. There are various moral conducts which have been mentioned in the classics and are being followed even till date. Mm -hmm. So children, actually, if we see from the age of five, it has been mentioned in the classic that we should give them all the affection and love. Mm -hmm. We should give them all the affection and love because they do not know what is right and wrong. And nowadays we have this concept of early schooling. Just by the age of two, three, we start sending them to preschool, school. They are always loaded with homeworks, with school activity. They are really not getting time for themselves. Mm -hmm. We see they are just busy with the school work. It is very important to actually give time to them so that they can do their personality building. Mm -hmm. Personality development is lacking nowadays. Mm -hmm. So in Ayurveda, we always motivate that the children should be always motivated. So starting from giving them in a physical state mm -hmm. by giving the immunomutilation. So increasing their immunity. We have something called as Swarna Prashan, mm -hmm. where we give gold drops. So many of the institute are following this in various parts of the country. Mm -hmm. Even Naya is uh, conducting the Swarna Prashan based on the dates we are giving the advertisement and people are coming for Swarna Prashan and once the children take the Swarna Prashan it is going to do the immunomodulation which means the immunity will increase mm -hmm. the proper growth of the children will be there mm -hmm. so as I told till the age of five we should give them all the affection mm -hmm. and at the same time make them eat what we think is healthy for them do the immunomodulation modulation not just through the swarna prashan as i told very importantly through the diet at home mm. also seasonal fruits which is very very important we stay in meghalaya where as i told before khasis they have adopted a lifestyle where they live with the nature mm. so we can adopt many of the lifestyle like having herbs right from childhood the children eat herbs here in Meghalaya. Mm. And that's a very beautiful thing. So we can start at very early age for them. Like we have this Kliang's ear, mm. Centella Asiatica, which we take as herbs mm. right from our childhood. So that we should follow. We can uh, prepare it into drop form and give them every day. It mm. is going to actually boost their memory. It is one of the best memory booster. So mm. that even in school, they can perform very well. So 
till the age of five, we have done that. Five to 10, it is very important that children should be guided. Mm -hmm. It is an age where we do the tuning. We discipline them. Mm -hmm. Because nowadays, children are busy with gadgets. Mm -hmm. They live in a world of internet. They are busy with the mobiles, with the gadgets. They don't yes. have time. So it is the time when mm -hmm. love is done till five. After five to 10, we should give our time to tune them. Wherever required, we should teach them. It is very important because they don't know what is right, what is wrong, be it in food, be it in other activities as well, be it in choosing the company in the school. This is a time where we really start guiding them to the right path. Mm. Also, administering them, again, the herbal food which we have, putting it in our daily diet, giving them milk, which is very important, timely giving the various kind of seasonal fruit as mm -hmm. I told then after uh, the age of 10 10 to 15 10 onwards we can see it's a time when a parent should spend most of the time with the children as friends mm -hmm. because 10 onwards they know what they are deciding they know what is right what is wrong to some extent so it is important for us to guide them that we support them in a friendly manner. We sit with them, we talk to them, yes. we talk to them as friends so that they will be comfortable because that age is an age where they start having adolescence. Mm. They start having some change in their body, they start feeling, they start having all the changes. Mm. So it's a time when as parents we should sit and discuss all these matters with them. And in Ayurveda we have various regimens right from as sir have told from morning till night when they get up, this since they are in school, for reading. So we have a concept of Brahmi Murth, or one and a half hour to two hours before sunrise. That's the best time to get up in the morning. Mm -hmm. So they can get up during this time. Since we are in uh, Northeast, the sunrise is early here. Yes. So they can get up more early and they can start reading, preparing for their notes mm -hmm. instead of reading late nights. Mm -hmm. Then after that, we can prepare them for school. They can go for brushing, they can go for bathing. In Ayurveda, we tell that below the neck, it should be with warm water. Yes. And above the head, since here it is a bit cold mm. area, so we can give lukewarm water above the head. Mm. We have this concept of abhyanga. Abhyanga is one part which is there in Panchakarma. Abhyanga means oil massage. Mm. So we cannot do on a daily basis. At least once in a week, in the weekend, mm. we can make them sit. We can give the abhyanga with uh, these herbal oils mm. or whatever oil is meant there at home, like mustard oil might be good. Mm. We have many khasi herbal oils as well. Yes. We can give those or you can come to Nea. We will advise them. Mm. So this is how we help the children in the school level. Most importantly is because they are growing, their immunity is always affected. We have to do the immunomodulation, not just by diet, by overall, all the lifestyle. And mm. sleep habit is very important. Children, they sleep at 11 because they are watching TV mm. or they are just playing games. It is important that after coming from school, yes. after having their playtime, they should sit, mm. involve them in some talk, give them time to pray, give them time to relax. And mm. after that, ask them to sleep at least before eight. Before because eight. they need, they mm. are growing, they need rest. The mm. body rests during nighttime. So they need this. No, so yes, they need to sleep like eight hours. And eight hours, they yes. need more time for mm. sleeping, yes. The popularity of Ayurveda is quite visible these days, no? whether in healthcare, especially in even us ladies in cosmetic and beauty treatment. But and the market for it is widening. So can we anticipate the Ayurveda industry, uh, you know, th that um, it has a lot of potential for entrepreneurship and innovation. So what can we expect regarding this potential? Like uh, Ayurveda market is growing, mm. like there are new new terms are coming up, like you have already said Ayurveda cosmetics, mm. nutraceuticals are coming, Ayurveda diet is coming, mm. so big market is coming up and it is very much acceptable mm. nowadays, so you will be uh, good to know actually that nowadays it is a trillions market, what mm. Ayurveda is there, combining of herbal medicines and other products, so our ministry is also doing something so that we can grow up in the marketing line of things. Like what people think that Ayurveda, hai, then we have to only do the treatment, we have to only go for the teaching and all these things. But now a uh, industry is coming up. So new days were like a startups. So now a market is considered only good when startups are too much are there, or mm -hmm. you can might be knowing the term unicorns. Mm -hmm. How many unicorns are there in a particular industry? So our ministry is also working very deeply on it. Nowadays in our curriculum also, 
entrepreneurship cells had been established mm -hmm. means in each college there will be a cell and they are guiding the students and other people who want to come up with the idea that you can also come up make a uh, industry in this particular field a big program is also having in the uh, banner of ayurveda day hackathon this has been conducted by the all india institute of ayurveda new delhi and they have already getting the ideas so 101 new ideas will be seeded if somebody is from uh, coming up for the industry they might be doing the some world seeding incubation center the incubation centers are also been developing in different bigger institute like national institutes and other centers so ministry is also helping with the funds that if you have some better idea if you have some good idea you can come to them they will help you out how to make this idea into a product mm. into a industry so this new world entrepreneurship innovations they all are coming up in our industry and there are many new food links which are been established like many evidence are been developed so that our ayurveda herbs can be sent to the other countries as per their norms okay so that industry is going to like nowadays we are having an industry of nearly 7 trillions which basically depends on herbs but now industry 7 yeah tremendously industry market is there market. which they want to make it to the 20 mm. so in last like g20 also our honorable prime minister has also given a good importance to our traditional health mm. and the guests were given ayurveda diets ayurveda ahar mm. was served to them in the main programs mm. so everyone is now interested in these things so they are coming up industries are coming up many new ideas are coming up and help is also been provided mm. so we are very soon going to see a good startups which are going to be a unicorns in our own fields mm. basically in cosmetology mm. there is a very wide market and nutraceuticals nutraceuticals means herbs which are going to help you in just like vitamins yes, yes. so they are coming up from the herbal side now mm. so these all markets plus our academics they all are helping us out to come up with the ideas mm. Tapi doktor ialah betai bahkan ni ka lesing lah, orang ka yo, mo, yo bah jong ka ayur beda bangi don kam, hiban yo, ya kini ki bah ki karkana, ki bah penmi, ya kini ki dawai, lani ki jingdi, ki lani ki jingta, ki bah day nak ka ni ka jing sumar ayur beda, bat ka day ka ek ek ka ka kam, lani ka karkana, ka bah heh, ha, ka bah lap ban ban ra, ban pen keu, ya ka yo ka kuat jong ka ri ka jong ihi. So now I will turn to you, doktor Abishik. This would be your last question. How can because <laughs> you know the, due to so time much. constraint, uh, how can Ayurveda help the aging process or maybe you know the elderly perhaps? Yes, actually nowadays if you see everywhere the term geriatrics is given so yes. much of importance uh, because what happening if you see from previous time to now the uh, means lifespan of people is increasing. Mm. If you see the time of independence, that time the lifespan of uh, in India was uh, say 38 or uh, it was below 40 okay. but now if you see the lifespan it is above uh, 60 like that mm -hmm. so what happens the burden of elderly people are also increasing so uh, the term geriatrics which is related to the elderly population in medical science actually we uh, call there is a branch of medical science which is known as gerontology where there is study of uh, the physiological changes of elderly people mm. diseases and their management which are specific to the elderly people uh, normally see in aging there will be some problems will come only mm. because there are so much of changes happens in our body some uh, physiological changes happen in our body Body, but what happens changes will be there aging will be there but we have to convert it to healthy aging aging should be healthy so that the person who is aging should not suffer much about that they should accept it and go beyond and Ayurveda what it's uh, what says uh, that we have to get prepared for healthy aging means in our middle age itself mm. and Ayurveda advises for some specific uh, type of uh, not treatment I will tell advice and also some medications and supplements has been said mm. that is known as specifically Rasayana so this is a specific type of diet mm. regimen along with some supplements along with some drugs which gives our body 
tissue which uh, degrades and degenerates due to aging yes. it supplements that so that we can keep ourselves healthy during our aging process and we can get rid of the diseases mm -hmm. or uh, means distressing condition which comes due to aging mm -hmm. and by that ayurveda helps in healthy aging and uh, keep the uh, means maintain the health of aging uh, elderly people uh, so dr garov before we conclude our discussion today so can you please tell our uh, viewers about naya and what are the types of uh, health care services that people can come to naya yes certainly uh, naya is actually an institute from central government autonomous institute which is having two type of facilities right now currently ayurveda and homeopathy both so since we are talking about ayurveda so we'll brief you about ayurveda things mm. so nia is for people to serve the people of meghalaya especially mm. and this is a academic institute having hospital also so in our hospital all the type of facilities are present concerning from the like sir has said panchkarma is there mm. the surgery is there so especially of anorectal surgeons are there then our own pathy for the uh, gynecology is there mm. so different opds are there which are free to cost or very minimum cost facility are provided to us many therapies are given to uh, people at the lowest cost whatever is possible mm. medicines are freely provided we are also conducting several camps for the people those who want to get aware of our things we okay. go to the villages we give the stuff to them too we also conduct many awareness programs like plantations mm. we are also conducting plants uh, camps for the herbal medicine in kitchen so in kitchen only the health is going to be developed then we are also having a very big project right now that is called ayur swasthya yojana project for especially for the anemia in female patients mm -hmm. so for like meghalaya is especially a prone area for anemia mm -hmm. so we are conducting a big project for that we are giving free uh, medicines we are conducting some test also that is also going on then uh, nia is also providing uh, learning facilities also so mm -hmm. there are some skill programs are going on where the skill uh, is given then academics is there undergraduate courses are there postgraduate courses are there okay. so in a brief i can say nia is giving all the things what is actually required to for the people to remain healthy okay. everybody is invited to nia if not ill just to check what is we are going to provide to you at mm. least you should get aware about the nia mm. that a big institute is for you which is already present in silong and serving you from last 10 years specifically we can say and nia is for you dot so yes Thank you very much. The doctor is on Bagania. Kadeka taka jakas. Nde ya taka jakas sumal. Nde kadeka jaka kabala ban ay jing tip yengi shafang ka koy kikya. The hoy bom tip kadeka nia kadon hajan negrim si. The kumta la dafi kwa ban yoy jing tip yaka ika bangila ekran kadeka por kadeka studio ka jongi pila ban leg ban yaka duit doctor hoy kadeka duit jaka kabala ban ay training. Wat di kita kiba kwa ban tip shafang kadeka rukom sumar. Lingba ka Ayurveda. So once again, I want to thank you, Dr. Gaurav, Dr. Abhishek, and Dr. Markham, for your uh, precious time and then for uh, bringing us the highlights and the, the awareness of Ayurveda. This is Shishini. I hope you will be able to get the best of your life.